Let's start the recording. Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents the Grimstone Chronicle Season 3 Episode Uno. I am your host, but not your DM. Yes, finally, I get to be a player again. Uh, that uh, that honor and responsibility and burden <laughs> lands on Adam. Adam for tonight. How's it going? How's it going, guys? Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents the Grimstone Chronicles Season Three Episode One. I am your DM, but not your host tonight. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I see what you did there. Nice. Yeah. This this was the um, it was really interesting because it was like all right we're gonna go to the other guys for about you know five ten sessions and then it went like ah, <laughs> nine months sessions. later <laughs> forty yeah, five sessions later <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, all good it's and all they good. and they have fun and they have a cloud castle so <laughs> yeah, what yeah they have do? a cloud castle what do you guys have <laughs> the last thing you did was lose your wagon <laughs> we're, part, we're in a ca- we're in a castle. <laughs> No, no, no. The last thing you did was... Uh, actually, we should probably... Uh, well, we should probably do the hellos. Yep. How's everybody doing? Fine, ready to play. Let's do this. I need to play. Yeah, I need to get I need to get going. <laughs> He's dressed <laughs> out! <laughs> uh, watched uh, the live... Oh, what I do since last game. Uh, watched, started watching a bit of the live-action Cowboy Bebop. It has a really interesting style to it. I did not watch the original anime, so I'm coming at it completely fresh. and yep. it, It's enjoyable. Uh, I don't know. Cool. Yeah. That's on my list. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch both. I'm gonna watch the live action, and then I'm gonna go watch the animes after. I might actually go back and watch the anime. Is that so much fun? Yeah, they're, they're real good. Yeah, they're real. Good. I always mixed up Cowboy Bebop in my mind with Trigun, and I hated Trigun. I, I just like couldn't. I just so... couldn't. I just couldn't like. I just couldn't get into Trigun. I really like Trigun, but it's different. The the Trigun has like serious and silly mixed together it was the when we started encountering the silly i'm like mm, this isn't doing it for me like like my my version my version of animes that i like that i you know you introduced me to were uh gant speed graffer and berserk berserk is my favorite yeah so and that is not a silly show not a silly show it, it starts out not like not silly it ends even less silly <laughs> right <laughs> Contemplating uh, life and shit afterwards. Uh, the Trigun starts out silly, and progressively gets more and more dark. Okay. Well, to, to the end where it's kind of like not quite berserk levels dark, but close to berserk levels dark is how it ends. But you have to get through like happy, goofy. Why would I shoot somebody when I can use a bullet to pay for pancakes? Let's do a pancake dance, <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, yep, they yeah. lo- they lost me Im- almost immediately. I'm like, ah, I don't want to watch SpongeBob SquarePants and fucking anime form. Sorry, I got better things to do with my time. <laughs> 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 uh, anyways, it, it, it would be a good one for like a, a, a movie or something to go through, like because it's got like one story arc, like it's just an arc, right? Hey, Fox. It, it, it gets to the end, and it's like, yeah, they wrote more stuff, but it was like, but it, it, hey, hey, Fox. Okay, so that's what I've been up to. Ahmed, uh, what's going on with you? Um, car trouble. Yep. Just leave it at that. <laughs> that's that's, that's very safe, because we got the extended version beforehand. I, I, <laughs> you, you get double thumbs up <laughs> for not going there. <laughs> uh, and you got killed. <laughs> no, uh, no. Yeah, no, um, no, it's just, it's been busy and, uh, I miss these guys and I'm, I'm trying to remember what they can do. Oh, you're kidding. I'm almost done looking yeah. at the first character. The socks. <laughs> Man, I, the prep that I did was I watched, albeit on times two speed, and our voices are really funny at times two speed. <laughs> uh, but I, I did watch the last episode of these characters, which would have been episode eight, season two. Um, we got to episode. 56 season two <laughs> uh, but i went back and watched that episode just because i'm like what are we doing 
Woohoo! <laughs> so, there was no. something with time pressure, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, this is good. So I'm yeah. kind of caught up. What I'm going to ask Adam to do is, when you make reference to things, just gently remind us that we've heard it before. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the difference between what is brand new information and what is yeah. old new information. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah, no, this, this, this week was interesting. Um, work was busier than I hoped. And uh, I got invited to um, two invitationals in the next few months for strongman stuff. So, uh, like the, the there's a Niagara Invitational, I got one, two, and then there's a uh, uh, a Highland Games one that uh, we'll see. I'll, I the, the timing on them, I don't know if I'll be able to do both, but hey, hey, it's not just people who show up and put their money in the pot. It's now people going, we want you to come to our thing. It's nice. <laughs> it feels good. Awesome. When do those happen? I will happen? try not to hurt myself. <laughs> when do those happen? Uh, one of them is in early February, and the other one is, uh, I want to say, first week of April. I'll have to check. Um, I'll be in I'll be in Seattle at that time. I don't go back to Ontario until, uh, like, end of May, early June. Yeah, the, the Niagara one will be interesting, because it's going to have, like, uh, that one's a... A significant, a high enough level for like replays on they got the in a little corner on TSN. There might be like, <laughs> you know, you know the, <laughs> they did this thing and <laughs> stuff happened. <laughs> and you know, which will get a picture of a guy, you know, flipping a car or whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, that's that's good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the event lists come out, so I can figure out what I should be working on uh, while simultaneously not getting fatter this winter the plan is to get thinner this winter so we're going to try to combine those two goals and we'll see what happens and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right all right speaking of things happening and we did a thing do you want me to do a recap what happened in season two episode eight sure please if you could okay flight of the bumblebee uh, the Steel Rose Squad receives training at Fort Manius and trade for many items related to healing and fire. The Steel Rose Squad is dispatched to rescue a column of soldiers that survived a train wreck. With the general scrying spells, Chaga uses his teleportation to arrive on the scene rapidly. The Steel Rose Squad does battle with a group of fire-loving fey, plant monsters, and a druid-summoned beast called a frogamoth. Zogel joins his master, Grackle. Dee Dee saves many soldiers with her healing magic. Capra and Dugan take out the enemy artillery. Upon their return to Fort Manius, they learn of an impending two-pronged attack upon Fort Servius and Fort Maximus. Chaga is promoted to Centurion Lieutenant, and the squad makes their plans. And I believe their plans were to have Fireteam B, which is Dee Dee, Sulphur, Grackle, and Mort, along with the support crew of Jex, <laughs> Errol the Grey, who's being interrogated, so I don't know if he's he's if he's still he's around. He's still got five days in the clink. He's still, he, yeah, for, for abandoning his, or doing a shitty job at uh, Fae and Farm. Gen- you, you, you basically reported that they did nothing and were completely blindsided and their town was overrun with shape changers. Yeah, uh, and then Zogel, and then I think we got this Private Rick the Stick promoted, and I want to see if we can get him as part of our support group. Uh, basically, our replacement Errol, uh, somebody who's confident, uh, uh, competent. He was like the one competent soldier in that train wreck thing, uh, and he was a private. So these guys are going to stay behind at Fort. I'm getting Manius and Maximus mixed up. Which fort? Manius. Is... Fort, fort Manius is where the uh, Auburn, the the uh, Auburn is. Okay, that's the headquarters. Fort, uh, yeah. Fort Severus is the one where you've you've traveled to a few times. Yeah. And there is a commandant there, Commandant Cicero. Yep. Uh, and then Fort Maximus is one that you have not yet attended. Uh, and and that's the one we don't want to fall because that's one off to the side and it kind of exposes a bunch of land internally to the... It, like... it, it allows you to bypass the other two forts. Right. Uh, it's also the most meaty of the forts um, in terms of its general All right, so this group is going to go to Fort Maximus. This group, while the fighting is going on, or maybe even before the fighting is going on, essentially while the armies are, are attacking, they're going to go behind the scenes and try to breach into this uh, Iron Tower place. 
Um, so yeah, they're going to get into some trouble using Chaga's teleport spells. I think that's the plan. Uh, this group, Fire Team A, the, the augmented Fire Team A being Chaga, Kev, Capra, uh, Los in the urn, and Dugan in a pocket. I guess he doesn't need to be in a pocket for this, this teleport, but we have that option. Getting we back. have the option of sticking Dugan in a pocket. Yep. yep. Why, fuck ye! <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you who goes in the pocket. You just wait. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, do you plan to uh, requisition anything before leaving? And uh, uh, I'm assuming Fire Team B is going to be escorting the troops to uh, Fort uh, Maximus. Yeah. Um... No, we had requisitioned before we left for the train a staff of fire. Unless in the mm -hmm. day or two we've been gone, it's ready yet. We'll check in on no. that. But uh, it, 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 no, it's not. No, then we're then we're not. Uh, Dee Dee's slowly replacing the uh, the charges in that staff of healing. We those six soldiers we passed off to clerics and healers at Fort Manius for them to experiment or figure out what the hell the fungal plague is. And uh, yeah, unless there's anything you want to do, Ahmed. Uh, uh, I have actually a question for a feat that I want to grab, and um, this is an interesting one. I know, I know. It's this guy keeps doing this what, show. Why? Right? Why are we doing this now, though? I just realized that I have this defeat. It's not going to come up now, so actually we can we can skip it and do it later. But it's fine. We can do it after. It's not a big deal. Mr. Feet it's not going to come up. Uh, it's false. False attacker. Um, when a rogue. Uh, at, and whenever the rogue strikes a foe from hiding, get them to bluff check. There's an immediate action to make him think someone else did it. You mean the, the rogue talent? It's a rogue talent, yeah, false attacker. It's a Paizio rogue talent. You can take it for that missing rogue talent slot you have. Yeah. <clears throat> My question is, if I am hiding, if I appear as one of their friends and I smack him, can I, is that considered hiding or do I have to be literally like in a closet, like, you know? <laughs> You, you, need all... to have, you need to have somebody else there that you could physically be the other attacker. Right. So if right. Hiding in a crowd counts for this. So if you're hiding, if you're using a crowd to hide. Cool. Done. Because I've always wanted to take this and actually use it. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Is there anything that you needed to do in Manius before teleporting away or before marching to the uh, uh, Maximus? So, Chago, I think. So we shared memories with the general about Fort Maximus and Fort Sever Severus Sever um, uh, Severus Severus uh, we need a teleport location in Fort Manius but we've we've spent time here so I think Chaga is going to just spend time I don't know studying the barrack where he and his friends basic or he and his squad mates uh, spent time so he's just going to yeah. like sketch it out in a sketchbook and Okay, so uh, uh, you've basically he wants a teleportation location in Fort Manius that that he's going. Okay, to so you use. you've you've lived in this place for several weeks. You did training in this location. Yep. Uh, you're now studying it. You are definitely studied carefully. Um, okay. We're getting close to very familiar okay. for the barrack. Sounds good. Just in case we need to, you know, for whatever reason, come an back undo, here. An upa. Yeah. No, no, that, that fort's fucked. Let's go back to Manius. Uh, just in case. Chuck is not going to tell them what we're, what we're doing. <laughs> he, he just spends time in that room. Uh, All right, so uh, which of the, uh, the which ones are you putting in charge of the fire team B, uh, Lieutenant? Uh, I suppose we have to put someone in charge. Um, Dee Dee's a bit of a light touch. Um, <laughs> we wouldn't want to put the lizard in charge. He might burn down the entire fort. At Mort, um, I don't think anyone. It'd be a toss up whether you want to like pop pimples on Mort's back versus actually follow his commands. So I think Grackle by default becomes. <laughs> uh, 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 Are they? Can they hear? Can they hear us? Uh, like can, can can group is group is fire team B there? Like are they in the earshot? No, shot? no. He if if, that's, okay. if he wouldn't have said some of the stuff. You uh, wouldn't have said the pimple thing with more just in case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so are you going to tell him, or do you want me to tell him, sir? So Chaga is a, uh, so the two sergeants are Kev and Capra, and they're coming with us. So, yep. yeah, we need. We're all, the leadership is going to the front. Yep. You're going to be a great time. <laughs> Corporal Grackle, uh, you're in charge of this group while we're gone. Uh, understood. Chaga's a captain? Not a captain? Uh, lieutenant. No, uh, lieutenant. He's a lieutenant. lieutenant. Uh, which means he's a centurion and not a legionnaire anymore. No, yeah, he's he's leaps and bounds ahead of us. Understood, Lieutenant. I will make sure they perform excellently. Uh, Chaga's just gonna walk Rackle off to the side for a moment. And not kill anyone. <laughs> but they're not supposed to. <laughs> well, I want you to defend the fort with all due vigor and vim. Um... I don't want any of our... It shouldn't come at the cost of the life of D.D. Morton Sulphur. Understood. We are more valuable alive than throwing our lives away into nothing. Including yours, um, yes. Others? And Chaga squirms a little bit in his armor, but... He's fine with the cohorts dying. <laughs> He's drawing a line in the sand that you should. <laughs> Understood. <sighs> Our efforts will be put to the most effectiveness. It, it will be easy for Didi to escape. For the others, I suggest when you get to Fort Maximus, you you plan your. Your way out first? Just in case things get worse. Understood. He looks at Zogel, he can go invisible. Hmm. <laughs> Understood, Lieutenant. Okay. When do we expect you back? I'm not sure. Um, the place where... I know how to teleport into. Um, you may also want to find this place as well. Chaga had a image of a magical crafting shop. Of a magical crafting shop. I'm assuming the general described where this place was. Yep. Okay, so I, I'm going to make sure that Grackle has uh, the the directions to the magical crafting shop, this will be the teleportation place. Got it. It's, it's at the, the base of the Northwestern Tower. There is a magical crafting shop with an esoteric mage. Um, the, the, Greco remembers this. <laughs> the player, the, the, the playing character remembers this. <laughs> the, the character being played remembers this. The, yes. the player might not. Player might not have, no. Um, Lieutenant, do I need some form of uh, letter or documentation stating that uh, I'm in charge of this group and that no one else is to take command of us? Well, no. It, no. Does he need written orders? Capra is like waving his hand around and then it like does the, shows the thingy, the, t the, the magical tattoo. Uh. Chaka will write down sloppily. <laughs> Corporal Grackle, <laughs> acting sergeant in charge of fire team B of Steel Rose Squad, uh, Lieutenant Chaka. Um, Thank you. Okay. He gives it to you. <laughs> Excellent. As, as far as that will get you, uh, the lieutenant's not very high up. In the, we're the ones that manage the shit upon which... Uh, this will give me a few <laughs> seconds if we need to run away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last resort. <laughs> Chaka just goes over. All right, so now that that's taken care of, it'll be fine. Dee, Dee you'll be fine. 
Ah, you're gonna be great, deeds. <laughs> Look there, guys. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll be surrounded by humans who are completely useful. <laughs> He's called Cannon Fodder. Yeah, but it's not always getting hurt. It's like, get some thick skin already. <laughs> like abilities or something useless it's true if they were really a, a, a superior group that they would be able to you know be immune to something they're just hit by everything absolutely everything <laughs> everything kills them stiff wind kills them i'm trying to keep as many as i can alive it's admirable didi you're so nice aren't you didi Making fun of me, or if you're on my side, I'm not making fun of you, Dee Dee. <laughs> Why would you think I'm making fun of you? Because you're blue. <laughs> it's true. I am blue. You're you're pretty blue, there, buddy. <laughs> Landlord. <laughs> All right, well, we've got an abandoned town to uh, liberate. No, 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 poke around. Our goal is to get into that tower. Mm. Hopefully not seen. Let's see what sort of I damage mean, we can cause in there. Let's see what sort of... Are we going to use magic to get there? I thought we were going to use magic. So where are we going to go? Are we going to try to, like, right to the tower? Or are we no, no, no. I think... Remember where we rested just up the road from the, um... Uh, 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 from where we had that battle? That place got a stink right now. <laughs> Yeah, there's probably something there that shouldn't be there anymore. We would teleport there. At least we spent a night there, and then we fought in that morning. So uh, we'll go there, and then we'll um, have a look around town. I, uh... We'll sneak up on the town with our fly spells and that invisibility you promised me. Yeah. Uh, which uh, even... You have invisibility, listen? Kev? Uh, Sergeant? Pretty sure I do. Hold on, it's been a few months since I looked at my spell list. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm a sorcerer. Uh, we can... Yeah, so we, yeah. we got some invisibilities. So... I'll get you guys covered. It won't last too long, but... Eh. Uh, um... Alright, so we should probably get low for the... For the just in case, you know, they'll be all, like, hidey. Um, Wait, you think somebody's sticking around the big burnt goblin pile? I don't know. He's got a point. It could be something there. It shouldn't be there. I mean, I mean you, I can stand up straight and just be all seen, or you're gonna crouch down. Just, just bend over a little bit. You'll be fine. <laughs> I, I'm afraid with the lunch that I had. If I if I bend down a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> No, the last time you did that, something nasty came out of your hand. I, I'm a bit gassy. <laughs> I was right behind you. I threw up for two days. Don't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's messy. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, there's old cannon alone. back there. There might be some dogs or something eating the corpses. They're, they're goblin corpses. What could possibly want to eat them? Goblin dogs? Oh, yes, they'll be so busy with the corpses they won't notice us tiptoeing through the the wreckage. Uh, oh, I've you... seen you tiptoe, Chaga. Do you have a better <laughs> place for me to teleport to? Nope. Eh. We can teleport fly to the bridge, the... but there are giants there. Can you, uh, well, can you, you fly? Go to there. That's, that's How many of you can fly? I got wings. I can fly. Uh, Los. All right, and Dugan can fly. All right, hold on. Uh, Kev's gonna turn into oh, the little flyy dude. Where's the little fly dude? Are you missing a form? I'm missing. Uh, yeah, I'm missing a bunch of forms. <laughs> uh, which one do you want? The uh... um, this is the flying little Zank. The flying kobold. Oh, 
Nice right, then. We don't need to fly directly now. We can walk out of the forest first and get to the edge. Or we could fly from there, whatever. Well, first, let's... we should see what's on the other side of the, 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 the thingy. Yes, let's get there first. Agreed. Okay. Uh, so... He's, he's going to touch the backpack with Los's earning it, let Los know that we're, we're about to teleport. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, you can talk to him just by touching. How is he doing in there? Is he lonely? Uh, no, he he's he's itching for a fight. Oh, he's always itchy. Sorry, I'm just... All right, everyone, link hands. Or, or sit on my head. Thank you, Dugan Schmidt. There we go. <laughs> it's so unbelievably soft up here. <laughs> How do you have rolls on the top of your head? <laughs> Chuck is going to teleport to the campsite where we got attacked. Cool. Little do you know I'm above a lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> so Kev and Desaad, uh, no, Kev and uh, Capra are, uh, what are, what's our rank? 29 sergeants. Sergeants. 29. You are so on target that you're unbelievably on target. Now, let me uh, get rid of. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so there's a big pile of dead goblins that were burned, and it's gross. Uh, let me just get rid of some of the stuff. Uh, is this forest road that we should be moving to? Forest road, yep. Yeah, cool. Uh, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> okay, and... Alright, give me a percentile. Please. Another one. Uh, yes, 70. a percentile for potential random encounter. 71. <laughs> is there something here? Uh, oh, I... I'm, I am a bad DM. I'm not even in the friggin' chat. You can tell me whatever number you want, because I'm not here to see it. 110. <laughs> 71. Three encounters at once. Wow. This guy's really good. Whoa. Uh, 71? Yep. Okay. Uh, give me perception checks as you arrive. <clears throat> Oh, let's see if this is working. Perk, Grimstone Chronicles South. For some reason, it's not. Uh, let's see. Get that running. So Grimstone Chronicles North is working. Why is Grimstone Chronicles Grimstone Chronicles South? There we go. Um, Shaga's got an eighteen. He's looking at his boots. Uh, Capra did good. Thirty-eight. Capra got a thirty-eight. Los, Los has a forty-two, but he's in his. Uh... He's in the can. Desaad's got a twenty-two. Dugan Schmerz got a 31. So 31 and 38 are the two highest. Okay, so DC with distance 37. DC is 40? Um, okay, so when you first arrive, you don't notice anything. What do you do? Um, the, there's a bit of a smell here. It's, it's actually... Not as rank as you would have expected. Um, and it appears that a bunch of... At a distance, you can see your, your big burnt-out pile. It looks like a lot of vegetation has grown in around the pile of burnt-out burnt bodies. The forest is really quickly reclaiming itself. Okay. How many days has it been? It's been like a week. 
All right, so um, why don't we just take cover in the trees here for a moment mm-hmm. while we let Dugenschmer fly around to scout, and we'll let Los out of the urn to do the same. Okay, uh, give me your perception ch- or your what, stealth checks. What's Los's uh, distance in the urn? From the urn? Right? Yeah, Los can fly his character level. I think it's 100 feet right now. 100 feet, yeah. So he's going to... 100 feet basically brings him to here and looks around, but his spot check is insane. Okay. Uh, uh, and his stealth is... Los's stealth and Dugenschmurf's stealth as they're flying around. So Dugenschmurf is invisible. Uh, so 44 and 68. Okay. Uh, all right. So. And then, and then we're just standing here. <laughs> All not, right, so not moving both, very much, but we're just standing. <laughs> both Dugan Schmurf and um, uh, and Los notice that that some plants that were amongst the the fertilization that was left behind appear to be sort of crawling somewhat towards your group. <laughs> oh, these are these awful things we we encountered before. Yes. <sighs> so do you remember what we do we remember what they did or they grab you and drink your blood yeah i remember they did something with your blood i just don't remember what it was yep <laughs> um they are bad um this is where you have to be very careful and where you camp because these things will if they're in the region they will slowly approach and and engulf you in. So are they approaching the three of them? Or are they busy eating? The... Uh, it appears that at least two of them uh, caught wind. The third one is still here, but these two, they've they they've moved five feet so far in the direction of the party. Um, you do remember that they actually move... Uh, when agitated, they could move faster than people. Why don't we t- why, why don't we take to the sky and let uh, Los, cut them up. I think it's time for you guys to fly, says Los. He <laughs> 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 slashes, at, uh, slashes at some leaves with his blade. Oh, God! Foul brambles! <laughs> Give me the fly spell, big man. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think this is an initiative. Sure. Is, is your... You're provoking the plants. Uh, Shall I add plants to the initiative? Sure. Or what are they called? Bra- brambles? They're called brambles. Because so I don't know if, if they can affect magical creatures, then basically Lowe's wins. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> uh, if they can, well then... Well, yeah. Well, GTFO son. What, what is the initiative mod of the brambles? Uh, their initiative mod is plus 13. 13? Holy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Mess around. <laughs> you need something to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How do we play these characters again? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, seriously. What, what am I doing again? Yeah. Okay, Dugan is here. Desaad is here, Grackle is not, Zogel is not, Sulphur is not, Capper is, Dee is not, Los, Mort, Octopedes in the bag, Chaga. Okay. I think I've got everyone. That is how initiative work out. Ooh, what are they talking about? Capper go first. Capper goes first. Uh, they, they, he said to fly. Um, <laughs> Los is pointing at the things with his blade. Uh, oh fuck! <laughs> uh, Capper will take an opportunity to uh, concentrate uh, by he's going to intently look at the things to see if he can identify what the heck is going on. He still can't see them. Uh, 
33. Okay, he, he doesn't see what the problem is, but he was told to fly. Uh, he will use, he will fly up um, using one minute of his uh, his wings. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'm going to open up the initiative sheet because huh. I should theoretically have enough horsepower on my computer to like run both at the same time. Now it's the brambles. All right. Uh, so two of them noticed. One of them is not noticed. Uh, so the two of them, uh, they. Oh my god! <laughs> they ignore. They ignore Los. They ignore Los. They. <laughs> they ignore Los. So they didn't see Dugan. Can Los get? Uh, AOS? Uh, he certainly does. Okay, let me check to see if he's got combat reflexes. Uh, yeah, he does. Okay, uh, with the, uh, plus three Ghost Touch Frost Heartseeker Estoc, he's going to attack twice. He will use, um, uh, Piranha Strike because reasons. I'm assuming they don't take precision damage? No, they don't take precision damage. AC 30, AC 34, uh, 34 is a critical threat, but they're plants, so I won't add that. Okay, what type of damage is the stock? It's a rapier? It's a piercing damage. Okay, DR 10. Okay, and then there's cold damage on top, which I'll roll separately. DR 10. Uh, uh, the plus three doesn't get through? Cold, uh, the plus three doesn't get through, the cold does do damage. Extra, or... Can I roll it in? No, you can just add it in. It's normal okay. damage. Okay. Uh, first strike against the first one, 17 damage. That's that, including the DR, That's correct? including the DR. Nice. And the AOL on the second one, 13 damage. Okay. Die, you crusty salads! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> It's the plant things! It's the ones that Sulphur was always killing! Um, alright. The, uh, uh, after the... It's Dugan's turn. Uh, Dugan's gonna fling an acorn at one of them. Yeah. He'll, he'll fly up out of reach and... Alright, all right, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, his... His blasts are plus 22, probably one from above. And They're bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Okay. Alright. AC 41. Yeah, that hits one. Okay, 5d6 plus 2d8 plus 14. So he blasts an acorn, uh, like a force kinetic acorn through one of the creatures for 40 damage. Okay. And he's okay, and he's up in the air. Yeah, it's shit. he turns visible. But uh, all right, that one noticed that. Uh, how high up is Dugan? So Dugan was flying, we'll say thirty feet off the ground, and then he moves another single move up, so he's fifty-five feet off the ground. Okay. Uh, all right. The blood bramble, or sorry, that is the Dugan Schmerf. Uh, Los. Oh, 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 yeah, Los's attacks. Cool. All right, Los is next to one of them, so he's just gonna chop at it. Attack three times. How dare you! <laughs> How dare you ignore me? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're playing state. <laughs> All right, so first one would have been a critical hit, AC 34. The next one would be AC 22, and then the third one would be... 20, 22 is a miss. Okay, so one hit. Oh, 
plus 1d6 cold. He hits it for another 15 damage. 15? Yep. Cool. Okay. Hurts the plant. Uh, after Los, it is Chaga. Chaga's going to cast fucking fly spell. <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to... He move freaking fast. Uh... Can I direct a recommendation? Yeah. Just to mention door. Dimension door away. I can dimension door us away from here. Okay. Chaga's gonna... He's got one more action. Let me see if there's something else he could do. Uh, they look like they slap and grab, right? So he's gonna take up a star shield. <laughs> <laughs> when he just gives you a nod like you can mention door away fine yeah. <clears throat> takes it as tower shield uh, Ooh, stupid plants I don't, think you ever, I don't think you've ever gotten to melee with them so I don't think you actually yeah <laughs> they definitely look like they slap they have um, tendrils they have tendrils yes okay. go ahead decide oh, okay I actually have dimension door so I'm not <laughs> So he's going to dimension door us uh, like 200 feet <laughs> to 300 feet down the road. Here, give us time to get ready. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let um, the destructive ones handle it. <laughs> Here. Uh, yeah, and we wait the round. Hi, you. Camera oh, destroyed them! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Does he have the bow with all the elements on it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's. The, the let's bow of four it. seasons or whatever. Yeah, the bow of. Gotcha! <laughs> I said no! Uh, Alright, so Capra will. So, are we trying to be quiet? I don't know. Um. All right, so first we are going to look at my basic attack roll. My basic attack roll is plus 23, uh, plus one for love is plus 24. Uh, deadly aim is plus 21. And then uh, uh, we're going to, I think, Bard Song is a move action right now. Uh, wait a sec. My, my multi-class might have screwed me out of the, the bard power. You need to be seventh level bard. Uh, to, for the move action, right? Yep. Okay, so I need to update. I'm going to update that right my sheet right now. Uh, start as a move. So he's going to bard song because everybody can use some bard song. Um, or plus two to hit and plus two to damage, he will uh, I think that I don't think he's going to sit on the other powers, uh, or does he arcane strike as well uh, eh, screw it, arcane strike as well um, okay, so that is uh, plus 21, plus 21 on the rapid shot. And the first one is a mini shot. Uh, natural 20. Uh, and an AC 23 is a miss. Is that correct? Capra, you can't miss. Minus 3 for, it's minus 5, so 24, 25, 26. We're not fully buffed. So, uh, 26 is plus 21. 21 plus 2 is 23. Okay, yeah, so one hit. The important one hit. Um, Alright, so this is Frost Flaming Acidic. There's two arrows. So this is 2d8 plus uh, 20 plus uh, 4 plus Deadly Aim is only once plus 4d6 from the two elements, and then the third element gets bonus damage. Uh, and then 
All right, so uh, that's 31 after the DR gets removed. So 31 plus 13 is 40, uh, 44 damage. Not bad for one hit. <laughs> uh, so 60, 72. Okay, the, the bramble that you're attacking looks injured. Hmm. Um, yes. The brambles. Uh, okay, so uh, Capra flew up one move. This bramble moves to the tree, climbs the tree at a speed of 40. Oh, no. It moves through Capra's space. He doesn't have, I actually, wait, does Capra have a natural attack? I don't think he has a natural attack yet. He's not full. Doesn't he have enough. horns? If they're not, they're... Everybody keeps making fun of my little horns. It's just because my mom and my daddy they liked each other properly. So... <laughs> uh, okay, so it's uh, swarming um, Capra. He doesn't have uh, snapshot or anything like that? Uh, Capra has point blank mastery. I don't believe he's got the AOO feet. Okay. No, he'd be good he's, to yeah, have he's got a, point blank mastery. He doesn't have the ability to take AOs with it. It would be good to have a properly built uh, archer. It, it would. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Oh, oh, he's a DM. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, okay, is this considered. Okay, so he's immune to the trip. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So it moves into a space, and actually moving to the space doesn't do anything yet. And then from within the space, it's going to lash out at Capra. It took two moves to get there. Um, so it's going to attack Capra. Rolls a natural one. AC twenty five against Capra. I misses. That's, that's think a, should misses. be misses. It misses uh, the sog. Capra's so. got a better AC than AC naked thir- AC uh, thirty two. Yeah, naked Brenos <laughs> on both Brenos. Uh, all right, so oops, sorry. Uh, all right, uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Yes. Uh, it's not holding anything. The branch on the tree gets flung away. Um, this other one gonna climb a tree here and Dugan is too far away to be engulfed but he does get within range to attack once holy fuck get the fuck away from me (laughs) AC 32 against Dugan ah his AC is 31 (laughs) (laughs) alright so this thing lashes out at Dugan Uh, the lashing does uh, 11 damage and 2 bleed and it seems to be supping um, of the blood okay it's not cold iron uh, it is not cold iron okay so 9 damage and 2 bleed okay Uh, we're going to give Dugan Schmurf a uh, one of these little uh, conditions 30 damage Uh, Perfect. Uh, and uh, it tried to sort of knock Dugan out of the sky, but he's flying, so it doesn't work. Um, okay, and this third one now, oh, there's, there's, there's fresh blood over there. Oh, the fresh blood came from Dugan Schmerk. <laughs> this thing is hauling ass to Lollapalooza. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dugan. He's gonna, well, fuck. He's going to bleed. Uh, he's going to bleed for two. You know, no, he's going to bleed for a D6. Oh. Three D6. Or three. Three. Fine. Three on the D6. And then... Uh, he had 11 damage, come 9, and the other 3 has got 12 damage. Alright, he's going to... Oh, five. God, what did I just do? He's going to 5 and step back from it. <sighs> at an I angle. dimension door Chaga. Yeah. You did. 
Where is Los? Uh, Los is gone. Like, Los disappeared. Los isn't there. He's... Los is gone with us. Yep. Yes, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens. Shit. <laughs> I'd like to make a formal complaint. <laughs> <laughs> the right. unfairly can, this mission. Is Dugan threatened at this angle? He, he is threatened at that angle. Okay, so he's going to continue to step backwards and yeah, fly, no fly up in the middle where there's no trees, it, it, basically. It, it took two yeah, steps to get up. fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> it took two steps? Okay. <laughs> he's yelling at them. <laughs> yeah, fuck a plant! I gotta kill all of you! <laughs> and a few trees for that matter! I don't care if I'm fey. Uh, <laughs> Los is gonna come back out of the ken. Hungar! Hey, what happened? <laughs> Kaga decided we should dimension door. <laughs> I guess we should fly over there. Uh, he's fly gonna fly a hundred feet up towards the mess where <coughs> where the bramble yeah, is, and, and he's in, in yeah, the brambles, yeah, yeah, he's just kind of getting. Uh, getting up there. He can fly at... ...30 feet, so yeah, it takes him three moves to get all the way up there. He's 90 feet away from yeah. Chaga. He's at the edge of his leech. Okay, uh, Chaga then is going to take off the backpack and hand the backpack to... ...to Desaad. Okay. Put it on. I guess he'll use last action to put it on to decide. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, you've got Los's can on your back. Yeah, and I'll start fly. On my turn, I'll start flying uh, away from, like, between the trees so they can't grab me and towards so that Los can move along. So I'll fly. Uh, whew, what's my flight with this thing? Uh, he flies at 30 good, so... 90. Yes. So you're 90 feet up, but a third of the distance to uh, Cabra. Okay. So you're 200 feet away and... yeah. Capra. Well, I moved towards him, right? Capra. Uh, up and towards him. Well, what the fuck? This is bullshit! We're coming! We're coming! <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit! <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> I think... So, uh, Capra is currently engulfed. Um, he can't five foot step because he's in difficult terrain. You trying to break out? If he can try to just leave, and he's going to provoke AOOs. Uh, he's going to get an AC. You can take it. Okay. All right, he's going to uh, actually he's going to attempt to tumble away. Tumble away, uh, okay. Hey, hey, ha! Uh, so Capra, it will attempt to tumble through difficult terrain. His acrobatics is plus nineteen. Thirty-seven. Uh, this thing's and he's technically tumbling through the creature's square, so it'll be CMD plus five. Uh. Okay, uh, he did not break the CMD of this thing. Um, it will take its AOO. Um, that, actually, awful. before the AOO starts, he actually has to make a reflex save against just the, the thorns around it. Um, so Capra will attempt to reflex save. -u. He makes the reflex save. Uh, the... It is a save negates, so that's fine. Uh, he takes no damage, uh, and then it takes an AOO against him as he is moving out of its space and away. Uh, the AOO... AC 31 misses Capra by one. <laughs> uh, Right. Oh, fuck you! 
<laughs> you fucking plant. <laughs> this is not your... I understand this is my home, not yours. Uh, this is a road. Your home's over there. Uh, he's going to sh just shoot it. Uh, he's going to arcane strike and then shoot it two times. This time he will not miss. Uh, at least the pan is to not miss. Um... One. He rolls a two and misses. And he rolls a natural one. We wouldn't have missed. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> huh. Ch Chuck is shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> He just points at it. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, after no, after the, it's the stupid brambles. <laughs> stupid brambles. All right. Uh, okay. So they can smell Dugan Schmurf. They know Capper's there. Capper flew back. Uh, the this one is going to attempt a. Um, An acrobatics check? Uh, no, it will. No, it will not. Uh, it's reaching out, climbing the tree, and like reaching to try to get a Capra because Capra only did a half a move, so it was able to get over. It will take two attacks against him. Missing uh, and critical threat. hit. Uh, let me just check Capper's items. Uh, he will... He's not going to discharge the poison on the, the being. And we'll see what the crit does before we decide if we're going to use the token to negate a crit. <laughs> uh, major injury. He gets a fortitude save on the confirmation roll to avoid the major injury. Uh, I think we're going to use the token. Okay. Chuck's, Chuck is just shaking his head at this point. He's got a three-quarter chance of failing that saving throw. Uh, oh, shit. You are correct. I am a cheat. <laughs> uh, no, it's just a regular hit. I... I, I I got a plus. He got a plus three bonus somewhere in the confirmation decree. Oh, okay, cool, <laughs> cool. Good <laughs> check. Uh, all right, so it's just Thanks a normal to hit. Slap man. <laughs> <laughs> slap. <laughs> all right. The uh, the damage on this is one d eight. Chuck is still shaking his head. So uh, and then six. So fourteen damage. Capra now has bleed. Uh, and Capra has ER, I think, three. Three, yep. Okay, so 11 damage. Sorry, three. I've been poking around all the character sheets trying to figure out what that's, yeah. that's, that's good. <laughs> Somebody needs to know what they're... I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough stuff to do. I'm not the DM anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just tr I'm just trying to remember my own characters right now. <laughs> I did what? All right, that one traveled there. This one... Is moving directly under. <laughs> Dugan. Tricking, tricking the blood that's falling. <laughs> uh, this one here, it basically is attempting to follow Dugan, extends itself out a little bit too far, and will make it make a reflex save. Natural twenty. Okay, it kind of does a sort of tumbly, sort of clippy cloppy down as it was trying to go forward. It didn't actually fall and take damage. Okay. Uh, and is basically finishing up its move going under Dugan. Ah, oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> Dugan's like dripping the blood <laughs> on top of it. <laughs> I got something else for you! <laughs> <laughs> Dugan. Oh, right. uh, Dugan. Dugan's gonna <laughs> turn a drop of his blood into a into a force missile. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, you like that, huh? 
Bam! AC 36. Hits. 6 plus 2d8 plus... ka -chung! For 40 damage. Uh, on the more wounded one? Uh, the fresh one. Yeah, the more wounded one. We need to put one of these down. Okay, 97 damage. Uh, that one is bloodied. These things are fucking tough! He, 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 he bled for two. You're doing fine! What the fuck oh, are you, you doing? <laughs> uh, Los is it's just flying moving. towards you. Yeah, Los is just moving up with Dasad. He moves another 90 feet up. Yeah, they're playing like the, the hop. Yeah. Uh, leapfrog. Now don't dimension doorway this time! <laughs> he's like, yeah, Chaka! He's just kind of attacking like ferns as he's flying through. <laughs> I'm sure he's passing through some of them and they're just wilting. Chaga. Yeah. The chair is real bad up here. There's plants everywhere. You infested. Yeah, Chaga sees two of them clustered together. Um, he pats the pocket where the where the Didi scribed um, uh, page of spell knowledge is with the fireball. And he's going to rip off a fireball to tag these two plant creatures just from way downtown. Okay. Uh, what is the uh, save DC? Chaka's fireballs are not great. Uh, DC 19? They make both of them. But do they, it, they burn real good. Okay, so 43 on the fireball. That's a big fireball. That's a big boy fireball right there. Uh, and they are vulnerable to fire. They made their save. So 21 so and So do I calculate 30, the way 20. I want, or do you calculate it? It's they're, to, to they're their advantage. Dead. Okay, so it's... It's to their advantage. 21 plus another half becomes 31 damage. Yeah. yeah. All right. So... 31... Chugga will move forward slowly, like another 30 feet forward, like he's just drifting a little bit up as he goes, but he's not in any hurry to be in melee with those things. Well, this is what happens when you don't be a your roads. Deep <laughs> janitors, and street sweepers, and some guy with trim the hedgerows. The sod? Uh, it keeps moving forward, I think. So 90, 91, 80. So uh, we initially moved 200 feet back. Uh, if I keep going forward, I'd be like one... I'm going up a bit. So 160, I assume. Uh, coming up at an angle and about... So 160 forward and then maybe 50 feet up. So uh, low should be able to reach them. And I don't know how far forward they moved. like Because I went back 200 feet from uh, here. They are they are basically where you started. Okay, so so low should be able to reach him, and I should be above them. Okay, so a fly forward. That's my three moves. Capra, you can start killing them now. <laughs> you got it, boss. <laughs> uh, next time I should drink my stuff or do Here, spells. Here, or... take off the. T uh, is it one d six bleed? Yeah, it's one d six. Yeah. Okay, hey, he's going to arcane strike and then unleash the arrows of hell. That's right, he doesn't need to five step back. Natural one. Oh my god, Capra. Capra. What a hit. The rapid shot hits. Chug is now rubbing his temples. <laughs> the secondary shot hits. I... <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's 2d8 plus uh, basically just 10dr, so 2d8 plus 12 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Uh... It's like we're rusty or something, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, 
the fire damage is poopy. All right, so it's uh, 51 damage. Uh, this one is uh, very bloodied. There are two that are quite bloodied. Uh, all right, Capra didn't move. Um, so that Bramble is going to... It can't get any closer, because it'd like to. Um, it's going to attempt to... Well, it's going to use all of its actions to full round attack. Okay. So it's going to lash out at him with its four vines. Uh, scoring two hits. Um... One of them almost a critical threat. Uh, doing 2d8 plus 12 plus 2d6 minus 6. 22 damage. Uh, so that's 35 damage on Capra. Uh, Capra has to make some fly checks because he got whacked while flying. Uh, I think Capra's a good flyer. Capra's a good flyer. He's fine. He doesn't have to... He makes his fly checks. Uh, the two below, uh, now Capra's bleeding over there. Um, and there's... Uh, Chaga is flying, or no? He's flying, he is... We How far back did we go? 200 feet. Three, we went 300 feet back, was what was oh, the original. Yeah. Okay, so Chaga's 270 oh, feet away. Away and up. Uh, he's gone up a little bit, but he sees how they're just climbing, so he's he's staying <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> he's trying to be as far away from <laughs> yeah, anything that they can grab onto. It, it's it's not going to work <laughs> in this in this gallows of of horrible trees. Okay, uh, the one bramble is going to just keep this one didn't get hurt. It's just going to keep drinking Dugenschmirsch blood. It was yep. having a good time. Uh, this one is going to haul ass down the road. Okay. Uh, so it, it, it moves, um, it would be 150 feet away from Chaga uh, and down. It would sense uh, me far, as well. How, though, how far right? was Desaad? Actually, it would be under Desaad right now. Yeah, so Desaad moves. It is physically uh, under Desaad. 90, 180, okay. but 140. Yeah, it's, and, it's... and next to Los, Los is like. <laughs> How nice of you to to face me, plant <laughs> to done dead. All right. How loud's a fireball, by the way? It's, it's an explosion. It's just a little little squeak in the forest. Because uh... <laughs> I have pistols. Uh, are... those are probably louder. Yeah, du so, so Dugan, like... Dugan Schmerz. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you like that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dugan Schmerz takes four bleed this round. Okay. AC 30. Hits. Oh, what was it? 5d6 plus 2d8 plus 14. Burr, burr. 40 damage on the, uh, on the Bramble. Seventy-one. Okay, Los is going to uh, corrupting touch the bramble with his ghost power. The touch AC. The ghost. The, the bramble doesn't even appear to like acknowledge Los exists. Uh, nat twenty. Oh. Can't crit shit. Can't crit the plant. Can't crit the plant. But this is ten d six negative energy damage. DC twenty three for half. Will save. Uh, fort save? Will. Will save. I believe so. Plants uh, have amazing wills. Uh, give me a second. Let me double check. Uh, goes to the <clears throat> corrupting touch. Is a fort save. Oh, it is a fort save? It is a fort save. Uh, it is immune to... Neat, 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 this is neat, a neat, magical neat, neat. aging effect. Yeah, no, it gets old. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Twenty-seven on the fort save. Yeah, it it made it, so it takes eighteen damage. And then, okay. as my last action, he's gonna stab it with his sword. Uh, 
Right, he misses. <clears throat> Getting a bunch of the flaky, the flaky leaves that he just finished touching. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, it is uh, Chaga's turn. Ooh. None of none of them are dead yet. I didn't know they could climb trees like this. <laughs> There's something wrong with my bow. Maybe I got cursed. <laughs> yeah, Chaga's... Oh, God, he used it. <laughs> Chaga's not interested in wasting any more of his spell power on this on this encounter. We've got a busy I... day today. Yes, uh -huh. we do. So he's, if that thing comes down the road at Chaga, he's going to fireball it again. <laughs> but he's, he's going to... Yeah. He's going to ready a fireball, basically. Okay. Dacid. Dasad. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. Um, I, I don't want to use spell power on this thing as well, but it, it, I do have a bow. Oh, it's a strength 20. Yeah. I can't be Kev when I'm doing this. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Hmm. I don't have anything ranged that I can use. Ah, this the, this creature's bow is uh, not on my character sheet anymore, so I don't I don't think I have a small bow for this creature. My strength is eighteen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let Los keep killing the thing. If things like I, I'll pull out some, I'll pull out two pistols. I think your weapons resize. Uh, it's not. This is a, this is this is a um, strength twenty bow. For the sod, I think his. Oh, that's right. Th his stuff doesn't. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, my weapons, my gear resizes. My I don't think my weapons do. Hmm. I think you have to wear Incredible Hulk pants. I think is how it works. You have to wear stretchy, <laughs> stretchy. No, I, I pull out. I pull out. I pull out my double double barrel pistol, but I'm not going to use it you know, unless things start going bad. But it looks like people can just by time will win. So hold out. Okay. Uh, after the sod, it is Capra. All right. Breathe, and you pull the bow back, and you point right at the friggin' wiggly things, and then you let the arrow fly. There's, there's his and I'm bleeding all over myself, and we ignore the fact that we're bleeding all over ourselves. <laughs> Chaka, I'm bleeding all over myself. Uh, I see. <laughs> it's making the blown bow string sticky. Uh, sorry. You will arcade strike and attack three times. AC 40 critical threat. Can't be critted. AC thirty two hit. Brb uh, okay. You, if the if the one that he's attacking is destroyed, he's going to switch to the one under. Uh, switch to the one on, on, the one by low, so yeah. it'll be at, at a distance. There's actually a, a, a range penalty here. <clears throat> uh, it misses. So, uh, the on the one he's uh, the first arrows on the one he's going at two d eight plus. Uh, Six plus four plus four. This fucking little uh, campsite of carnage. Oh, it's just this horrible little spot. It's a horrible little spot. Worst spot. Uh, six plus four plus four plus forty-six. And then the two d six fire. So it's f the first shot does fifty damage. Uh, fifty damage brings this to. 73 which makes this thing fall <laughs> stay uh, incapacitated it kind of <laughs> falls so it, it, in the map it's about it's like mm -hmm. falls over here uh, it fell I want to say 40 feet 
Oh, 40 feet, so 46 falling damage, 11 more damage. just unconscious because these things are conny as all hell. Uh, that other attack is being shot at Bramble 3. It does 1d8 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2d6 and then 1d6 fire. It ends up doing 28 damage to this one, bringing it to uh, 172. It is just on the it's teetering um just barely not falling over uh, like it's got a hit point <laughs> okay uh, uh, all right their turns the, their turns all right uh this is going to Spend two actions climbing a tree to get near the AC thirty five, one away from critical threat. Uh, I, I think that hits the side. Let me just check. Um and he's got an AC that like wiggles, moves around. Yeah, so Desaad's normal AC is 26 when he's in small form. It's another 3, so 29. Oh, that's that's flat-footed. Give me a second. Um, 30, your, what's your AC right now currently? Two. Oh, Sorry, who talked? Desaad. Um, uh, Desaad's AC. 30. I think it's 32. 32, I think. Yeah. Okay. You get you don't have PR, right? No. Okay, you're getting lashed at. Um, again, it tries to trip you, but you cannot be tripped. Um, the fact that you all had fly spells, this is very different when you just get tripped because <laughs> they hit you. Um, uh, 19 damage and you're bleeding. So the thing can reach me, huh? It climbed a tree. Two All actions right. climbing a tree. It was underneath you before. <laughs> it's almost dead, though. It's like a couple hit points. Away it, it's dead. it's just it's teetering. Yeah. One that's under Dugan. Uh, it is drinking blood. Okay. Alright, Dugan. Four damage. See, I'm a lightheaded here. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> he sends another uh, crystallized bit of blood flying into it for 35 damage this time. 106. Uh, Lieutenant, is this going as planned? <laughs> Los is going to fly up underneath the one that's attacking uh, uh, Dasad, and he's going to attack it with his blade. Seeing how chewed up it is, he's not going to Piranha Strike, because he's having a hard okay. time hitting. AC 25. Hits. Nice. Can you do any more than two damage? 2d4 plus 11 minus 10 plus 1d6. He does 11 damage. Okay. <laughs> falls for the tree. <clears throat> kind of flies through it, looks down at it, and then we'll fly back towards it because he's not done chopping uh, you, it up. You, you you can roll 5d6 falling damage. Okay. 13. This one, this one landed very softly. <laughs> okay, Lose will be hovering above it. 
Oh yeah, don't fire your gun or use any fire. We don't want to alert them that we're here. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, what was the fireball? Don't worry, sir. We're not going to fire our guns or use any fire. <laughs> a long-term campfire versus a little, <laughs> a little fart of flame. <laughs> a little fart of flame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was Los. Uh, Chaga is just going to. Yeah, he's just going to. Tr- tr- oh, sorry. This one actually, the the fall killed this one. Okay, this one's gonna. He, Chaga's just gonna trundle up to the road to get to where uh, the sod is. Okay. Uh, or he's on. He's on his way to get to the sod. He's. The sod. You're bleeding. Um. Yeah, how much damage? Take two more damage. From the bleeding. Okay. <clears throat> um. So I need a heal check or a heal a heal. Uh... You could do it through heal. You could do it through a spell. And yeah, I'll do it uh, there and decide that you've now died and wait for like three minutes. <laughs> uh, just a, a heal check. <laughs> it there's an, you can use a heal check to try to staunch the bleeding. Yeah. Uh, do you have a medical kit? Uh, can I? I assume I can't do this flying. <laughs> you can do it while flying. All right, let's do it. Uh, medical kit. If you don't have a medical kit, the DC is a little bit higher. I rolled a 14. Okay, you don't stop the bleeding. Do you have yeah. a medical kit? That's what I'm looking for now. No. Okay. Kit. Take one kit. more damage as you're like... you actually opening it up a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Well, the DC is 20, yeah. <laughs> Capra? Alright. Just stay still. And everything will be a ha! <laughs> uh, <laughs> arcade strike and then shoot the thing. Yeah, this is this is I believe the bullshit is the question. Is the name it? Welcome my Critical world. Threat. Uh, a hit. Uh, and a miss. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, three D eight plus uh, it would be six plus six plus six plus six. Plus 66, and then 3d6, more damage on top. Uh, so after DR, it is uh, 60, 73 damage. Uh, s- dropping the creature. Okay. Chaga is going to use. How was that supposed to happen? Chaga is going to use wands to start staunch the <laughs> staunching the bleeding. Um, okay, in which order? Desaad, Desaad first round is five. Desaad De- has wands. He, he looks. He sees you okay. coming. He's like. All right, so you're going to get yourself. I'll get Capra, and then and then Dugan will fly over and get. Uh, we'll get Dugan next. Okay, so so Dugan gets one more round of bleeding. He gets three more bleeding. Alright, so Capra after. Uh, let's remove the bleeding conditions. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, uh, Kev gets one more round of bleeding as well. No, he's using it a happens, lot. I'm using it. It happens at the beginning of your turn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you get yeah. one. The round you he stop and it bled, right? Okay, yeah, so I get one more. Okay. One more. Uh, yeah. How many? Four. Four? Okay. 26 and 5, so 21, and the bleeding's ended. Uh, I think Los is going to dispatch the plants that still squiggle for Yeah, storm. Yeah, he's using mm-hmm. his cold blade to kill the plants. Uh, and then how many charges from a wand, 5 per charge, do you, do you guys need? Catherine needs 8, and that would leave him with 2 damage left over. You need eight. He's at okay. forty. All right, I have uh, twenty-one, so I'll take four. And Dugan has twenty-five. He takes five. Four and five is nine. I he, I've healed us up. So we just deal with Capra. And decide can automatically use spell trigger and spell completion devices because he's a doppelganger, yeah. so he doesn't need to roll his UMDs. Okay, Ch- Chaga. After using the two, he's like, okay. You're, you got it. 
Yeah. <clears throat> well, it, it... that was uh, fun. So, a in lot. the future, I would recommend that the front line stay in the front and not become the back line. Uh, if you need to run away, then you are anyways. But, uh, you know, it was fun, though. It was exciting that way. It wasn't fucking fun. It was fun. You, you're standing over there watching us. Next time, I oh, this. I didn't know these bastards can climb. Now we do. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Um, Capra, can you gather up your arrows? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, yes, sir. Especially, there was something wrong. There's something wrong. This Capra's like looking at the <laughs> arrows, and some of the arrows that he fired, he's like, yeah, it was, it was the arrow's fault. He like throws it away. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, well, these things are climbing trees like crazy. All right, and, uh, it was weird. Chop, chop. Let's let's get the hell out of here. We'll use the remaining bit of our fly spells to fly away from this, just in case, uh, just in case yeah. somebody, somebody comes attention. and investigates the poof of smoke that rose. <laughs> 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 and a couple of what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yep. All right. So arrows left. Um, and we're going to fly through the woods in the general direction of, um, of Fainfar. Is that the name of the town? Of Fainfar, yep. yeah. All right, uh, who is leading the way, and in, is are you just moving blindly, or are you trying to sneak, or what is that? I think Dugan, Schmurf, and Los at 100 feet, at 90 feet out from the group, as we're, we're slowly moving forward, is a excellent uh, group, and they'll be stealthing. All right, perfect. Now, uh, what I'd like for you to do is roll a stealth check for Chaga with a plus 10, because your shield in front of you is 100 feet. Like, that's the, the distance they're giving you. <laughs> they're still going to mm-hmm. hear Chaga 100 feet away before they mm-hmm. hear Duke or Los. Oh, so the zero ranks. So we're, we're stealthing. <laughs> yeah. We're stealthing and stick with this guy. I didn't even put the decks into the stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth row. Uh, let me do that now. So zero is a plus two. Or stealth. What's a stealth? And then my... he's, calcul- he's never calculated it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> At least it's mithril full plate. The ACP is minus three. So one d twenty minus one plus ten. Twenty. Perfect. All right. Let's. There's a. 400 pound bear flying through the forest. (laughs) (laughs) A twig or two snapped, maybe. (laughs) All right. Uh, Actually, so that is um, good enough, actually, to get you to the edge of basically the the Fanfar camps. Or close enough to start seeing what the hell is going on. So let me get to the... You know, move our tokens? I want to move your tokens. Okay, so I'm going to grab your tokens. I'm going to cut your tokens. I'm going to go to Fay and Far. I'm going to split your tokens out there. You're, at, you're effectively... Ah! About... <laughs> Look at all the armies! Okay. Which map? Fay and Far. All right, so effectively you're sneaking up upon the camp. You got lucky that along the trails there was no army movements. Are all these Uh, armies here? Those armies are there. They appear to be, like, uh, they're not at attention. They're just, uh, like, goblins. uh, They have got tents and cook fires, and uh, uh, they're clearing forests. Like, the, the forest in this region, in fact, I will change the color. Second. Oh, it's a, a lot of XP, Marty. Turd brown. Shouldn't they all be at? Why aren't they at Eight fort? Ten. Why aren't they at the forts? <clears throat> They're clearing out hunks of the forests. You can see them building, uh, even from where you are, because they've got so much clearance here. They're constructing a wall around this region, is what they've got going on over there. They got a bunch of goblin slaves, uh, manhandling um, a bunch of timber. 
uh, there are several giants interspersed throughout the um, uh, throughout the uh, the town. There are armed giants on the bridge, and then the giants that are actually along the other edges of the town are not um, like armored giants. They are simply giants that are aiding in the construction. Uh, knowledge. Um, uh, there are sorry the the troops that are around the iron tower are indeed um, they look like more ready for for combat um and then the they have got these general goblin troops around the town uh they are doing construction they're not currently in like combat of formations is that chaga's wagon that is chaga's wagon that has been pretty heavily modified and there's currently goblins doing something to it are the horses still can... alive or uh yeah the horses that were over here yep are now being attached or being looked at, and you do see a particular uh, hobgoblin, um, or actually the, the bugbear, um, is doing something. That's fine. Hunting a skull or. And do they still have all the villagers here, even after all this time? There is a pen. Yep. That has been built around this region. There are four dwarves guarding the pen. And within the pen, there are many, many villagers. Oh. Give me... Give per, uh, perception checks. Um, last I remember, these things were mind-controlled, weren't they? Or something. I have charmed. I can't remember what the hell it was. Dugan's got a 27, Lisk got a 41. Uh... So Los remembers that these dwarvish guards, uh, they were Oni before. Right. Maybe they these were... are the originals. Okay. Or maybe uh, they're just more Oni. Or maybe they're just more Oni. Yeah. Where's the pen? <clears throat> the pen? The pen is here. Oh, oh okay. All right. So... It's oh, crazy. how are we going to get these pills out? All right, Los is going to fly back to report to the group. I think Dugan's going to do the same. Do, 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 sneaking through the forest, going to... Well, I sort of expected this place to be empty. I didn't expect such a large force to be here. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. If they have yeah, that... It's quite a bit. If they have that many troops and they're still confident they can mount an assault on citadels, we're in very big trouble. Well, the guy, the horse guy, said before that they had a hundred thousands or more troops or hobgoblins or something. Do you think we can get in there? I can. <laughs> yeah, the fuck I can as well. Ooh. Well, um, maybe. I may, cannot. <laughs> maybe we just sent Dasad, Los, and Dugenschmurf to go spy. And we'll be waiting in a rope trick right over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, if, if that's the thing that you think we should be doing, uh, sir, lieutenant, sir. Um. Well, I, I kind of pictured in my mind's eye <laughs> a skeleton crew left behind as they assaulted. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll a, uh, Ahmed, roll a percentile. Yeah. One sec. Um, what, what do you want us to do when we get in there? What's the point? Um, reconnaissance? Oh. Oh, I'm not sure about reconnaissance, but you probably should look around. Um, anything important? Take it, if you can. That'd be my kind of reconnaissance. <laughs> uh, I will reconnaissance all the things. <laughs> um, you decide. Uh, look as convincing as you can as a hobgoblin, and go forth. <laughs> Capra, we need to find a good tree to put this <laughs> to put this rope trick on. Come on, this way. And uh, Chaga is... Okay. 
Shaka is going to the edge here, and he's gonna. Him and Capra are gonna hide a rope in on the edge of a tree. All right, uh, this side. No, 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 your wrong side. This side over here. Okay. In fact, um, no, this one. This one. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, Capra's gonna roll a stealth check to see what. Time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I I thought it was gonna be much different. Uh... Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, no, it's fine, man. It's yeah. all good. Forty-four. Capra found you a tree that is actually um, rotted, where you can actually basically get it so that the, tr the rope will actually dangle into the trunk of the tree so that the rope is actually completely concealed. Okay. It'll take an extra action to get the rope out, to get out of the rope trick, but it uh, will be very well concealed. Okay. Chaga and Capra go up into the rope trick. They're fucking brave, isn't he? <laughs> it's fucking uh... brave. Let me know when you need the cavalry. All right. Um, Chaga is a couple levels away from having the veil spell. If we had the veil spell, it would be a much different thing. <laughs> yep. Don't worry. We still have one of every PC's PC doing the adventure. And it's now not a murder fest. It is a different kind of adventure. Mm. You probably shouldn't go as Kev. Lotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just oh, preparing I, oh, here for a second. I didn't, right, see, good. I didn't see any kobolds around. Maybe that night watchman guy. Yeah, I'm switching thing. to the night watchman. Okay, here we go. So this is my. Where's where where are we hanging out here? Mm -mm -mm. Kev is gonna have a list of stuff. There you go. He is actually gonna cast. Uh, Tongues. See how long tongues last. I do speak a ton of their languages. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I speak pretty much everything they have over there. What do the uh, what do the hobs speak? Goblin. Okay. They have they have a like a, there's there's two forms of it. They actually have an old version of goblin, okay, um, that they also speak, but primarily they speak like that would only be like academic hobs. Okay, uh, I don't think I need it then. Yeah, I'll switch to the night watchman to make sure I still have him. Yeah, he's still here. I also have a hob fighter. But I don't have an image for him, which is fine. Uh, I'll, I'll turn into a Night Watchman. <clears throat> okay, before you go, uh, Chaga is going to cast Communal Resist Fire on Dugan and Kev. It should last for 10 minute intervals, uh, so 40 minutes a piece. Okay. Uh, okay, I have an idea. It was really your idea, but you had such a good idea last time that I think you should do the idea this time. Oh, what is that? So remember what Kev was saying before that we should be using a spell so that we communicate between the castles and then we could be able to do a thing so that we could see to get the thing and you make the spell go away? Uh, yes, that was Capra's idea. No, no, Ka no. that was uh, Dessaud's idea. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm um, do... Dessaud is Kev. Right, so he should cast a light spell and put it at the base of the tree and then if they need us to leave the rope trick to come and save them... He could cast another light spell and then that one will go away and then we'll be able to see it and then we'll be able to have to do the thing to go and rescue save the day. No, yeah, he could just cast it on a pebble and we could bring it up here into the rope trick. Uh, but can he make it go away when it's in another plane? I have I no idea. So. We could uh -huh. test. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we should do that so that we know when you are dying. Chaga's going to empty a bag that has a bunch of snacks in it. <laughs> 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 pick, pick up like a peach pit get get to saw to cast light spell on it put it in a little bag so there's like this tiny <laughs> this glow, tiny this little glow. glowy thing yeah alright so when you get in trouble 
you just need to cast the spell and then we're going to know to basically I'm going to start shooting guys <laughs> that's my plan <laughs> and running away <laughs> yes, yes. All right. A strategic retreat a tactical retreat as well just retreating in general uh, good, good luck sergeant uh, private uh, you bet it's fucking general to you Generally, have good luck. I was in part of that gang. Well, gang is such a loaded word. We were really like just a bunch of people who made certain that the streets were like a safe place for everybody and, you know, could do commerce and stuff. Ah, I was referred to as a hobo a lot. I still are, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smell thing. <laughs> do, do you need a night watchman token, Ahmed? Yeah, I don't have one. Oh my goodness. Uh, I can't uh, bring them in for some reason. Actually, let me try. No, don't, 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 don't. don't, don't. I'm gonna try. No. <laughs> it screws up the stream. Hmm. Of course, I've got a folder called Desaad's forms, and it doesn't have the night watchman in it. So. Where's the? Uh... Rest of the sod stuff. That's all I got to worry about it. You're, you're asking me where you put your toys. I'm not sure no, no, where no. you put your toys. Uh, the there was a lot of forms that the sod had just now. Yep. Is there another map? Gonna save the image from uh, from one note. There you go. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> this is more suiting. <laughs> In hob. Uh, okay. Alright, Dugan Schmurf's gonna hide on the sod. Uh, Dugan Schmurf's ten inches tall and weighs two pounds, so he's gonna hide. <laughs> he's ten inches tall, weighs two pounds, he's between your butt cheeks or he's under your, your like your belly flap. Yeah, you know? or like if there's a helmet, he'll hide kind of under the flap <laughs> in the back and just some place where he could easily fly away. And then Los, uh, the funerary urn gets packed onto uh, Desaad, uh, Desaad's back. Mm. And uh, we should dimension door inside. Clocking the bridge will be a bad idea. That's up to you. It's up to you, Chief. It's loose from inside the urn. Hey, it's just, it's just be careful about Dimension Door and that'll bring some uh, attention to you. Just have just have your thing. Um, just be ready to say what you're going to say. Well, who has the urn? Oh, I got the urn. Oh, Dugan can't carry it without using a spell. And how yeah. flying urn might attract attention. Now what, mm. now what do we know about these, these assholes? Who's their leader again? Who's Not much. There's something about Xerxes, Iron Walker. Hey, you can just say you have a, an offering for Xerxes and. Or you What's gonna... the offering? I, I don't fucking know. Do you want to just try to kill the son of a bitch? <laughs> no, we're going in there to have a look at look see, and then we're going to, um, you know. Take a few things, screw something mm -hmm. up, and then come running back out. And then you could go to Dimension Door. Right? All right. Get moving. Ding, ding. I'm thinking of a story that I can say that I'm walking. Where'd you come from? Where's your unit? Where'd you got it? <laughs> Hold on a second, damn it. Some sort of bugbear oh. might have a key to something. His name's Scarvinius. Uh, remind me, Scarvinius. I, I'm looking at my notes. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. Blanche is that. allied with the Iron Walker as Ersi, as Ersi might have key, Scarvinius might have key. Uh, there's Nefexi is a dragon. King Parthuk. Just, you know, just stop name dropping. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> so all the names are important. You know, you're not really helping here. You're not, not, you're not like a bit. doppelganger. Just say you're Ooh. here. You're here with an offering, and uh, you got to bring it directly to King uh, to Iron Walker. If they ask you, just say Nefexi. You hear important business. Act important. Ding. <laughs> uh. Dugan's, Dugan's right. making, making little acorns like flying in him in the back of the helmet. Ding. <laughs> this goes bad. I'm killing you first. Oh, no, no. You're going to die. We're going to lose Los and I'll just fly away. What was that? <laughs> Let's get out of here then. I say you walk in. Get some practice against the giants, you fucking moron. No, you're walking in, you prick. Sorry. Sergeant. What, what is your disguise check? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> What is your disguise check? I and because probably... we already did this once, what is your disguise check without polymorph effects? Uh... We, we already established that you you on both disguises. I will. This will just be granted. In disguise without polymorph. Right. So your disguise with polymorph, and then your disguise without polymorph, where uh, you are. Uh, you take a minus uh... so no shape change but this is shape change <laughs> I... yes but there's a potential for certain people to not be fooled by a shape change okay you're not trying to look exactly like someone so that's fine it's not minor details only uh, it would be Uh, so it'd be a minus four. So not getting the polymorph effect and then a minus four. So those are the two the two numbers I, that we need. How about, so, how about you just rolls a disguise and then you subtract what you need? That works for me. Okay. <clears throat> just give me a disguise and I will do the rest on it. <laughs> with my shape change? Yes, with your shape change. Oogie doogie bar. I, I could do all this with one number from that. <laughs> Natural one. It's 47. 47. That's, that's a pretty good disguise. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, it's not a terrible disguise. Best <laughs> doppelganger ever. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, see right there. Um, but with my ring, it's it's actually... Uh... Uh, no, you added that in there. No, it's not. It's not with the ring. The ring doesn't add, add to this. It doesn't stack. But I can use it without my doppelganger ability, so that's why it's there. Okay. All right. Um... Okay. Uh... All right. Uh, continue. Or do do what do what you think you do. Okay. Yes, I should probably get to the road. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm walking here. I'm walking oh. here. <laughs> Go on, says he walks. Stride with conviction. No, no, scrape, oh. scrape your, scrape your knuckles a little bit more against the road. Fucking crush your skull. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, so what's this guy? I'm just saying, let's look at quick stats here. This guy has a plus to strength and con. You figure out what your name is yet? So his strength. <laughs> Dosad. <laughs> Fucking dumb there. <laughs> 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 a little pebble goes digging off your helmet. <laughs> Nam chow. Nam chow. There we go. Now chow. <laughs> yeah, you want them to salivate meat, yeah? Oh. What's what's the uh, the goblin word for axe or sword or something? I don't know. Oh wait, I do. Um, <laughs> ah, let me let me say here. Good call. <laughs> Prepping a couple phrases of the story before you need to use it. Always a good call. <laughs> Yuck. Uh. Gyak. Gyak? Okay. Gyak. Shh, I'm Gyak. <laughs> Dugan speaks goblin. Good. Uh... I know what Gyak wants. Turrigan. Is a sword. Uh, what, was, what was the name of the, uh, the important guy we're mentioning? The fucking Iron Walker. The what? Iron Walker. Iron Walker. Let's fucking do this. And the dragon's Nefexi. Write that shit down. All right. <laughs> and the druid that attacked the train, her name is Jang. Maybe you've got important information about Jang. All right. So. <laughs> du Dugan's going to... I'll make his hide check. Stealth. <laughs> da, 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 da. Fucking chug <laughs> 73 stealth on. <laughs> um, a, How is it? A goblin. A lone goblin that looks like he might be related to the Big Nose tribe if you're of the. <laughs> Uh, he, it looks like he's he, he looks somewhat confused he looks hungry he's come up to you with his head bowed uh, back to work uh, hung, hungry go look for food He starts to move away from the camp slowly, a little bit faster. Uh, this Todd doesn't mind. <laughs> He's like, yeah, all right, <laughs> run for it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> good, it's good on you, buddy. We'll be doing the same shortly. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You're walking through. You're, you're, there's, there are hobgoblins Sweet. on the road. There, there are people that you're interacting with. There are some armored goblins that look like they're from a different region. Um, they're in various states of, um, uh, like, of prep. Some of them are cleaning weapons. Some of them are clearing, clearing spaces. There's others that are, you know, fighting over food. Um, you overhear in a kind of a distinct goblin dialect. Uh, somebody's complaining about like taking prisoners the goblins don't take prisoners mm -hmm. it's a hobgoblin thing and you can see that in the way that the troops are interacting the hobgoblins are staying somewhat separate from the goblins themselves it's the the camps are basically in um sort of uh, clusters of, of hobs and and goblins um compared to what you saw before uh the heavily armed hobgoblins are not <laughs> there aren't that many around it's mostly goblin troops um and and then sort of the uh, the more basic hob troops that are around. As you're approaching the bridge, 
uh, there's obvious signs of, of a large number about a foot traffic on this road. Uh, that bridge has been well used in the recent days. Uh, your ever burning torches that you have left on the on the bridge are still there, <laughs> keeping it lit up. Uh, and there are four giants, uh, very large. Um, they are. Uh, it's just so happens that we've interacted with these in the other campaign very recently. Uh, 20 foot tall, 5,000 pound, uh, blue skinned, big ass human... bastards. <laughs> humanoid warriors. Uh, they are wearing uh, breastplates and are carrying um, uh, great swords. Um, That's okay. Some... We're 14th level mythic rank too. We could take them. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. I mean, 10th level. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's gonna go down bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Drinkster. They are they are standing there. They are looking. Uh, you have a pretty high sense motive in general. Um, mm -hmm. They don't appear to be um, uh, at high alert at any level. Uh, on the other side of the bridge, from here, you can see a um, a female hobgoblin. Uh, with a significant amount of alchemical components on her person. Um, she is standing around looking like she's supposed to be guarding. Um, you can tell by the accoutrement that she is a seasoned uh, adventurer or warrior. Okay, where is she standing? Are, are you moving or who's moving the token up? I don't know how far we are. Uh, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm moving the token up. No, no, I just want to know where. Uh, where I'm she... describing this person. Okay, so we've crossed the oh. bridge then. Uh, well, no, it's from you here. Can you can see her. see across the bridge. Okay. Uh, a fence is being built. The fence is actually a, um, a little bit off of the water's edge. But it's not yeah. constructed enough yet to be a, a, you know, uh, something that would be blocking vision. Mm. Say anything to yeah. the giants as you approach. Absolutely nothing. Just walks in like they're not even there. <laughs> Giants look at you. They look at each other. <laughs> they look at you. They don't say anything. That's what I bluff check. I'm much higher level than you are. <laughs> That's right. Woke up. Nothing to say here. Just going about your business. Uh, leading up against a tree. I know a lot of faces uh, in, in Goblin. Don't know yours. You address me? Yes, I address you. You are very low ranking then. Well, I am a lonely munitions specialist. Oh. <laughs> do you have anything for knowledge? Did you have any knowledge stuff or are we just find out <laughs> that stuff? Um, knowledge engine. No, I don't have that. <laughs> it's there, but the zero ranks. Let's see. Uh, linguistics. Linguistics? No. Mm -mm -mm. Nobility, religion, planes, local dungeoneering, maybe? Uh, we'll be looking for nature, history... Uh, like tactics, um, nobility. I have nobility. Nobility would be the, the closest thing. Okay, because I'm going to be using Intimidate after this. <laughs> <laughs> you dare! Alright, nobility. Yo, hey, Kenny, what's up, man? Wait. <laughs> Random Fox, Drake, and Kenny. It was a good night. We good got night. the crew, boy. Yeah. We got the crew. Boys. Everybody's here. We're playing right. on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Natural one. I have no idea what she's talking about. Okay, she. You, you, from the name, from the title and her garb, you expect that she's probably somebody who blows things up, or loads cannons or something, or siege weapons of some sort. Uh. It's too many of you to matter. We're gonna. Uh... Let's 
see. Oh, oh, that's not map tools. 